Hello and welcome to a new series. It's just me going through some games that I have played and really enjoyed in the past, but uh, you might have missed them because they tend to fly under the radar for some. Um, this is Reassembly, uh, a game I've had a lot of hours of enjoyment out of and uh, I, I think that it ought to get a bit more love because I don't see a lot of people talk about it. I see quite a lot of um, space sims and space sandboxes and all, though this one is debatably in space, I think it uh, it could very fairly be put under the space sim genre, or at least um, kind of flight mechanics, uh, neo-Euclidean, I don't know, sandboxy kind of game. But either way, it's a lot of fun, and you could compare it to other games like Captain Forever or uh, Space Pirates and Zombies if you've if you're uh, familiar with those, those will probably also end up in this uh, Hidden Gems series at some point or another because they also deserve some more love. I really enjoy the space sim genre and I've been really getting a hankering for this one. So let's dive in. This is going to be a heavily edited uh, playthrough, but uh, that's just because there's a lot to, to do and not all of it is going to be very interesting to watch. So I'm going to play my most recent save because it's a bit more, I don't know, uh, typical of the, 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 the gameplay you might um, find in reassembly. But what we're doing right now um, basically is uh, we're, we're, you, you build a ship. It's kind of like a Lego spaceship. Um, and you attach a bunch of guns and uh, try and refine your design. And yeah, like depending on how you design it, you're going to have uh, an either easier or more difficult time. And it really is trying to like about trying to uh, figure out uh, a nice optimal design. You can get really creative with the ship designs in this game. And it's a lot of fun. It's really creative. Um, it's, it's kind of a, you could call this a time waster, honestly, but, um, I don't know. It's, it feels too substantial to be called a time waster, in my opinion. So what are we doing? Fleets. Use left mouse button in command mode to recruit an ally. Now, I have been playing this on my Steam Deck. I haven't been talking too much about my Steam Deck, uh, but that's just because I don't really want this to become a Steam Deck channel. I've been seeing a lot of other, uh... <laughs> A lot of other channels kind of convert into a Steam Deck channel for for uh, views, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I don't want to do that. So, but anyway, I'm gonna have to relearn the the controls since I'm now playing on PC. We're just kind of acquiring some resources. You you see these little niblets kind of floating around. Those are worth a kind of a, a temporary resource. Uh, I don't know. You just call it R. But um, you trade that into major, uh, like, faction space stations in order to get the permanent currency, the C. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but that's that's what it is. Here's a, here's a lad here. We'll probably die to him. And if you die, you lose your temporary resource, like, completely. But um, we'll see. Oh, we are doing actually pretty good against him. I've got a not terrible spaceship. Oh. Uh, well, that can that that's a bummer. Sometimes is uh, your allies are almost competing with you in some ways. Like uh, this is not a PvP game, by the way. This is not like a .io kind of game. This is, as far as I know, completely single player. Maybe one day it would be kind of fun if uh, this was multiplayer. But also, I could see it being very stressful. I honestly could see this as being a .io kind of game. Um, but. Yeah, something that can be a little bit frustrating is that you'll you'll actually have a hand in a kill, a really substantial one, but then one of your allies just kind of soaks up all of the currency, like like you just saw. But it's a it's a rare and also a very small nitpick because there's a lot to enjoy in this game. Um, we do have some currency, not really enough to you know hand in, but. Let's see if we can't do this. Le use left mouse in command mode to recruit an ally. What is command mode? How do I get into c command mode? Oh, I see we're in pilot mode and we can use tab again and then now we've g released them and we get our currency back. But I want I want to have an ally, why not? I, I haven't really experimented very much with fleet mode. It's an interesting idea. Use three to edit targeted ally ship and build order. So this is their ship. Uh, ally fleet control. Uh, this is one I built from scratch. This one, this is one that I've edited 
from one of the basic designs and I'll, I'll go in, I'll get into the ship editing so you start with this little command module and we can you, you get a bunch of like Lego block type stuff I, I want to make a I, I want to have a fairly big one here so we're gonna I'm gonna co copy with C and paste and we're gonna make something like this and I'm gonna rotate it because I want symmetry. So we've got we've got this nice basic shape. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut here just so we can, you know, I'll, I'll, we'll see we'll see the process a little bit. All right, so I've got a I've got a very basic design here. I, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to build a bit big. Um, you do have a design limit here, like so, like all of these. Well, actually, these these basic blocks don't actually have m any cost, but things like boosters and uh, power conduits, which you are going to want, you're going to want some power conduits so you can generate energy. Um, those all have a cost. Uh, association so um, that just like limits how big you can and, and powerful you can make your design this is something that you're going to upgrade over time so I'm gonna put my power conduits in the back there um, which they, they fit quite nicely it's really satisfying when you get your geometry like good music is basically a form of music which when someone listens it goes into a state of trance and dances Trans music is basically a form of music which, when someone listens, goes into a state of trance and dances. Yeah, I I worked a bit more on it as the garbage truck was doing its thing. It's important to get your your spaceship looking cool, right? So um, this is these are the Lego blocks that are like kind of available to us right now. Let's have a look at the upgrade station. So these are um, these are ones I've already unlocked. The ones that have the like the 90C and whatever. Those are ones that are available for me to purchase. The factory is probably the most game changing one. The other ones are kind of just like bigger and better versions of the same blocks. I've unlocked like the you know, missile launcher and whatever. There's new blocks as well. I'm also I just uh, I just got the DLC for this game. I didn't even know there was a DLC, so I'm actually excited to try that. You can almost consider this a let's try as well. Um, so I have 777P to work with. Uh, and I'm at 772, so I'm at the very, very limit of this. Um, so I, you know, I've left room to develop this, but also, uh, you know, we're 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 pushing the limits here. So let's let's see how this flies. And we're gonna save this. And I'm gonna just throw this in here. Um, needs 4R for Metamorphos. Uh, uh, do I not have that then? We'll we'll see. It might be that I can't build it just yet. Yeah, it looks like I'm 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 floating with the with with what I've got so far. That's fine. Um, I just wanted to kind of showcase the. Wait, am I alive right now? It's this is weird. Oh, I'm I'm this guy. I thought it was this guy. That's he's in my fleet. Okay, so let's go and shoot something, and, and maybe we can get enough R so that we can build our ship. So I guess, um, you know, the temporary resource, in addition to being what you use to trade in for your uh, permanent resource, is also what you use to build your ships for. I actually I did know that. It's just been a while. Um, and you can see, basically, our ship got uh, was destroyed. And now it's slowly rebuilding itself. And this is one of the things I really enjoy about this game is kind of the way that um, your ships, like ships in general, are destroyed and then rebuilt. Um, is really fun. Like breaking off parts is super satisfying. And then also like when you get to the, the point where you can like, uh, you know, rebuild, it's 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 really cool. Um, also like you know when eventually you get a factory, which is a, a very kind of game changing thing. Uh, it, it can get really, really interesting because you'll actually like see the ships being built 
And uh, I, have a, I have a fun little strategy that I, I enjoy. So I'm trying to move towards the, the enemy territory here so that we can, we can find some enemies to shoot. Because that is, that is definitely how you make the bulk of your resources in this game. The, the bulk of your uh, material gain. Okay, let's try and get this big lad. He's a lot more mobile than I am. Well, we took them out. Uh, we got a bit of premium currency there, if you saw that. The, the, the permanent currency, I should say, not premium. There's no, there's no microtransactions in this game. Uh, you can kind of bump into your, your friends. You know what? I'm going to switch back to our other ship. Because uh, I was not having nearly as much problems with it in terms of... Uh, there is a lot more boosters on it. So it might be that just, you know, having having more was better. Let's... Uh, what, what I want to do is just, like, feature some, some combat. And you can see, I mean, it's basically, like, you know, glorified space invaders. But it's fun. You know, I, I, I enjoy something about this. If you're looking for, like, something between a space sim and a... Uh, Space Invaders, like an arcade game, then this will really do you. And I also, like, it's just like something very satisfying about building your ship and then building it up, like upgrading. You can see, oh, there's a nice chunk of resources right there. Grab it. Nice. So I have a, the maximum energy now, or resources. So now if I go here, this is one of our s space stations. We just traded in all of our... Um, Oh wow, there's even more to get. Uh, we just traded in all of our temporary currency for, for for permanent currency, and I can start upgrading. In fact, I can even consider buying the factory, which I think would be a good idea. So let's do that. We're gonna we're gonna buy the factory. But the factory is very expensive to add to our ship. We can't do that for quite a long time. We're gonna need to basically get what we just got a few times in order to upgrade our limit we have to break our limit a little bit in order to um consider adding the factory uh and then it sort of changes the your ship from like being a little you know like a starfighter to kind of a um it's more like a uh what would you call it a carrier it starts to become a carrier and and you can then like design ships that it builds uh and then the currency you get goes towards um fueling your your fleet empire of little ships and what i like to do in that circumstance once once we get to that point is i like to build very small ships that it builds so that you know you keep keep the cost very low and also the smaller your ship the easier it is to make it mobile and then i give them missiles so basically they become uh ooh, we're we're absolutely eating it here i ought to I ought to escape if i can um they become little missiles that also fire little missiles. Um, and uh, so you be, you become just like a swarm master and uh, just like build a, an entire fleet of little missile launchers. Uh, and it's it's a lot of fun. Once you get to that point, it's, it's like really cool. And then you can do some really neat stuff where you like kind of leave this galaxy and join a, like a new fresh blank one and then conquer that one. Uh, and then basically the whole thing kind of repeats. Might be a good idea to switch modes so that I'm facing one direction and also firing in another direction. So I'm just, um, I'm trying to deliver the, my, my R for my C so that I can maybe upgrade my ship limit. And that way I can uh, start thinking about adding a factory. Won't be a while. It would be a while. I'd probably do a jump to when I'm like ready to add my factory. All right. So this is our, our current ship. This is going to cost 105. So let's see. Can we upgrade? We can upgrade twice. No, just the once. That's a shame because that means we don't have enough. Okay. Let's um let's get rid of some of this stuff, and that that way it has lots of surface area to build ships on, and we have enough for that. So that would be that that works. What we want to do now is design a ship that it would build, and it's good. We're gonna keep it as simple as possible, and we're gonna it's gonna be tiny. In fact, you know, the tinier the, the the smaller the better. It's almost gonna feel maybe underpowered. Like we could even do something as simple as like this. Um, well, maybe maybe a little bit bigger than this, and we want to give it a bit of mobility. So, we'll <clears throat> actually, that looks really cool. I like that. 
I like that it's kind of flush on the inside there, and it will add some more on the outside. And that's pretty good. It only it costs 64. That might actually be uh, a bit more than I want, but we'll see. And okay, so we gotta we gotta go get some resources before we can spawn a ship. This guy can reach me, but I can't reach him. That's a problem. All right, there we go. If we can just get it, make it out alive, then I should be able to spawn a ship. Oh, they're chasing me down. Grab some of that, that's good. I'm trying to, okay, keyboard re rotate ship, that's what I want. Because I want to fire while I'm running away. All right, I'm just trying to get to a safe spot here. And then let's spawn our ship. So you saw, you can see it, uh, that was really quick actually. We might have a, a pretty good ship design here and there's our friend. And we can spawn another one. And another one. And another one. And we become a, a little mini carrier. So once I lock target, maybe my my friends will fight them. And we're, we're, we're gonna see how effective they are, which right now it doesn't seem very effective. They seem to just kind of be floundering around. Maybe they have too much mobility. All right, let's let's try editing our, sh our 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 ship a little bit. This this guy is they don't seem to do very much. They have a very limited range. So let's get rid of these. What we want is a just an antimatter missile launcher. This is probably really unideal, but you can see why I'm doing it. This is 100 now. That's probably really expensive. We only really need the one missile launcher. Exit save. I wonder if that's going to update all all of those ships. Probably not. So I have enough to spawn one. Let's spawn one. see how it does uh, it's already lost in the sea of other of uh, other ships now go and fight them nice thing about having a, a swarm like this is uh you know the, the enemy can only really target one unit so even if they aren't effective at doing damage they are effective at distracting the heck out of all of the weapons on the enemy this guy is almost done so close there we go so we actually took out quite a few big, big boys there. I'm just holding the spawn button down. I'm trying to stay out of his range. Not really doable anymore. Yeah, my factory got blown off. But you can see we're, we're now spawning, like the, the units we're spawning now have missiles. And like the missiles are not great on your ship because they're kind of very slow um, and the, their guiding guidance is not great. It's 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 okay, it's fine. But like when you're spawning ships and they all have like two missile launchers, um, it kind of gets insane. Like they only all they all need to fire like one missile. Yeah, you can see like right right now like see what I'm talking about in order to become just an effective like ridiculous army. And now we should be able to take on just about anything. You can see, like, their range is pretty good. And I've given them, like, one of the crappiest missiles. Like, I could, you know, we could go higher. We could go, like, you know, give them a ridiculous missile. Just one missile launcher of, like, the biggest kind. Might be really nice. But, oh, this was bad. This was a bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, there it is. Shoot. Um, I guess we lost our fleet because I don't see our our units anymore. So we're gonna have to go rebuild our our, our armada a little bit. So we can see our uh, our army growing already. I found a little bit of a patch of goodies here, so I can build another one. Let's take someone on with some girth. That was pretty pretty easy actually. So now we can, we can build the Armada Grows. You can see the missiles already are insane. They wear them down. They're not really, they don't do a lot of damage individually, but they're kind of like the ants, you know? The ants in, in uh, Bugs, Bugs Life, together, together ant strong. What, what was the point of that movie again? I just built a bunch more and now I think I'll reserve uh, all future currency for purely upgrading. 
which means we'll have to make trips out of t the enemy territory in order to you know give it to an actual station you can see our our effectiveness as a as an army is very high okay so we have a full load now so we're gonna we're gonna go and and drop that off at a station honestly what I'd like to do is uh, I don't I don't need more weapons what I could really use is more mobility so we're trading and we have a ton of resources now so let's whoops Let's um, go ahead and upgrade a bit. And actually, you know what? Having a better booster would be a pretty good idea. Let's just get grab both of those and then upgrade twice. And then uh, I'm going to upgrade these boosters to big lads. All right, this is starting to come together. I think my next major upgrade should be more power because I, I really don't have a lot um, for what this ship is supposed to be doing. Let's see how much more mobility we have once once we've finished uh, building, rebuilding our ship. Whoa, it's already seems to have quite a lot of mobility. Ooh, yeah, it's a lot peppier now. Okay, let's... Uh, and it's good that we have mobility because we really don't want to be doing most of our fighting. Oh, look at that. That's so nice now. A little bit slow to stop, but we can also just, like, turn around. And, uh... I don't know why I just decided to absolutely destroy that lad. He did, he did not deserve that. Damage... Okay, so there's an agent to the northeast of us. That would probably be a good one. And a damage station. Damage stations are another thing that I haven't really uh, talked much about. They're not a big deal, but you can basically... Um, you know, like, there's a bunch of stuff happening all at once right now. And, uh, the, you know, you've seen the stations that I frequently visit in order to uh, exchange your currencies. Um, they, they, they kind of move around aimlessly. And uh, they'll, they'll, they'll find themselves in a dangerous spot and then um, become damaged. And you can go and try and rescue them uh, by, like, fighting off their, their local kind of skirmish. And then, uh, and then like, just by being near it, you'll uh, be able to, like, reactivate it. And uh, that can be a really good way of getting some resources. But it's also quite challenging. Target units so that the missiles just barrage in. Is that our agent? Oh, he's got a lot of weaponry. He actually did quite a lot of damage to me. Oh, ouch. Okay. Well, we're, we've got them targeted, which is the important part. So now they're just getting sieged. Okay, that's that's one, one big one down. Oh, unfortunately, the one ally who was here. Uh, oh, there's the agent. It's pointing me towards him. The one ally who was here soaked up our some of our currency. We do have more though, so I'm gonna. Oh, my my factory got blown off, but it's back now already. So I'm gonna build some more ships. They they are not long for this world. I'm surprised they're alive. Honestly, they're they're doing a really good job of evading all of our missiles they've got a pretty tough beam like I say if we, we uh, were there we go if we were to um, like start a game with that faction we would also have access to like beam tech which would be fun Ooh, these guys have, like, mines and stuff. Uh, oh, that was bad. He got his bullets right into my... Right into my freaking vent chute. Destroyed the Death Star. All right. Well, I mean, I uh, unfortunately didn't get to dig too much into the DLC. But, uh, you know, sometimes getting your getting a foothold is, is tricky. And, I mean, it's a challenging game. But it's, it's also pretty light, you know. You can just jump in and design a ship and have some fun. And uh, really the, the, the focus of this video was to 
um, put a spotlight on a game I thought was a lot of fun and I, I didn't hear too much about, and that will be um, the focus of the series. Is you know, here's a game I've played and I've really enjoyed, and I don't see a lot of uh, you know a lot maybe a lot of people have heard of it. So. If you haven't heard of Reassembly and you'd like to try it, if you have heard of it, you know, maybe let, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Maybe hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my content. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.